Here we have an SAT practice question, and the question says, we know that this is true for all x, and we are trying to find out the value for a, b. And this question is actually kind of technical, so be sure you pay close attention right here. So, we want the value of a, b, and we have the a, x here, and then we have the negative b, x here. This is how this kind of polynomial equation works. I need to get a, b, so I need to get this times that. So let's just go ahead and multiply. So I will take ax, just multiply with negative bx, right? Just that, because we just care about neg we just care about the ab. And when we do this times that, we will get, well, negative, and then a times b, and then we have x times x, so we have x squared, all right? But here's the thing, this is the technical part. We have the x squared term. We will also have to see what times what will give us x squared from this polynomial multiplication? And the answer for that is, we will also have to multiply this and that. Because you see, 3 times 5x squared, that will give us a total of plus 15x squared. Alright? So altogether, those are the two operations that will give us x squared terms. And of course, we can kind of combine them. We will get negative ab plus 15, and then again, combine the terms, so that means we can put the x squared on the outside, like this. Now, on the left hand side, this is the term that has x squared, and we have the negative ab, right, the ab that we want. This is the coefficient of x squared on the left hand side. It must be the same as the coefficient on the right hand side, otherwise they cannot be equal for all x. So this means, this has to be the same as that. So all in all, we just have to make sure we get negative a, b plus 15, we have to set this to be negative 9. And then from here, we can minus 15 on both sides, so we get negative a, b equals negative 9 minus 15, we get negative 24. And then after that, well, this is negative a, b, we won't pass the a, b, so divide both sides by negative 1, we get a times b equals positive 24. Of course, shout out to great Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, of course. And that's the answer for this question, which is answer choice C. But again, um, yeah, you, might not, you may not be so comfortable with this kind of things because what happened to the other operations, right? Um, yeah, I know. So hopefully this helps and let's might as well try to find out what A and B are, and I'll also take some time to explain the whole thing for you guys. So, here's the thing. Let's just multiply everything and we'll do this in blue. So, if you just multiply it out the usual way, we take AX times 5X squared, we will get 5A, and then X times X squared, we get X plus the power, and then we just continue. Take this times that, AX times negative BX, which is negative AB, X squared. And then take this times that, we get 4ax, and that's plus 4ax. We are done with the ax, we take the 3 now, we take the 3, multiply with that, we get 15x squared. And then put it down here, because they both have the x squared term. Positive, positive, so this is a plus. Continue, this times that is going to be negative 3bx, and then lastly, this times that is plus 12. All right? And we see that if we combine terms, here we get 5ax to the third power, and then combine this, and we can just put the x squared on the outside, just like that. We will get plus parentheses, this and that inside of the parentheses, and then x squared, and then do the same thing here, combine this, and we will factor out the x. So we will add 4a, minus 3b, and then x. And lastly, we have the 12, all right? So if you want to multiply the whole thing for the left hand side, this is what you are going to get. And then at the end, you will still have to do what we call the equal coefficient, meaning that whatever you have on the left hand side must be the same on the right hand side, term by term. So when we have 5a, this is the coefficient for x plus third power from the left it must be the same as the coefficient on the right. So this means 5a has to be equal to 20. So this means 
divide both sides by 5, a has to be equal to 4. But we don't want that. We want a, b. <laughs> so that's why we did this. You see, earlier we did this. Has to be the same as negative 9. Yeah? And we solved it. a, b is equal to 24. And we're done. And then you can continue. You can also say this right here. It's the same as that. And then from here, you can actually solve for what b is. And then, of course, 12 is equal to 12. Yeah. But you know what? When a is equal to 4, you know a, b is equal to 24 already. So that means 4 times b has to be 24. And that means b is equal to 6. This is the b. This is the 6. Yeah. So this is how you work out the whole question completely. But of course, you definitely don't have to do it. You don't want to do it. Just do this. It's much better. So remember, some SAT questions, once you know what to do, of course, right, that's obvious. Once you know what to do, you can actually solve the question in a very short amount of time, just like this. Right? So be sure you practice, practice, practice. And for more practice questions, check out my playlist over there and also check out the official practice questions. Link will be in the description for your convenience. And I'll see you guys over there for my next video.